This is absolutely beautiful. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today, I'm playing an eyeshadow, and this is a brand that I have never used before. There is a rant in this video, because I gotta tell you guys what happened. This video should have been up, but you will find out what happened with that. Today, we are going to be using the Plan and Makeup by Yolando Jamrock No Limitations Eyeshadow Palette. This is the box. This is the packaging. And I'm not going to show you guys the inside yet. You will see when we get into this video. Before we get started, if you're new here, I would love to have you join the family. So please go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time that I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. We do hauls, we do tutorials, we do reviews. I think that's about it. So... If you want to see how I got this gorgeous look, if I do say so myself, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, let's get into these eyeshadows. Y'all know eyeshadow is my favorite thing and I found out about the brand Playing in Makeup by Yolando from London Beauty, I will link her, I'll post the name of her channel in the description box if you want to go check her out. But I saw her do a video using um, one of the eyeshadow palettes and it was the Jamrock palette, the No Limitations. And she sent me a message and said, hey, if you still want to try these out, um, that palette itself is on sale for 40% off. So y'all know me. Picked up the phone, da da da, you know, let's go ahead and check it out. So I did get the palette, the regular price of this palette, y'all. I didn't realize that it was this expensive. This palette is $50, $50. I also picked up the Church Girl Nude by Yolando eyeshadow palette. That one was $28.99 and I did get 40% off of both of them. So this is the Jamrock palette. This is what the box looks like. I got a story to tell because I honestly don't know if I'm gonna order from them again. I actually ordered this on February 12th. So I got the No Limitations palette for $30 and then I got the Church Girl Nude by Yolando palette for $17.39. So $56 total. And then I got a shipping notification two days later on the 14th. Today is March 9th. I got my palettes yesterday. Now, I was very annoyed because whenever I checked the shipping notification, I was told that it was going to be delivered on February 19th. Showed out for delivery. I didn't get my package. And then the snowstorm happened. And so I was like, okay, maybe everything's going to be delayed. I get that. Package set out for delivery, didn't get the package, and then the tracking number just stopped showing anything. It just said in transit. So I waited about a week, contacted UPS. They said they were going to start a case. But then I also contacted Makeup by Yolando. This is what pissed me off. I messaged and I said, hey, not sure what's going on. Can you maybe look into this a little bit more to find out what's going on? Y'all, why this lady tells me... If you're using shop to check, and it wasn't Yolando, I don't think, it's her assistant. She basically told me, hey, you need to check your tracking number. No shit, Sherlock. I did that, obviously. I said, I did that already, dot, dot, dot. And then I said it was supposed to be delivered last week, hasn't updated. Well, if you're using the shop app, it's not accurate. Please click the link in this thread. So now I'm getting aggravated. I said, did you actually check the link? Because I've done that. There's no update since February 20th. This is now February 28th. So I sent her a screenshot of, show of what the tracking says. Like, I'm not dumb. I've ordered stuff before. So she said, yes, I did. Here's the tracking history. Why are you going to send me the same thing I just sent you? Okay, I, I just sent you that. 
So you're not willing to do anything else except click a link and tell me to click a link. Okay, ma'am, I got you. So I said, is it normal for it to take this long? I have friends who have also ordered during the sale and they got theirs a week ago. I'm asking if there's something you can check into further besides obviously clicking the tracking link to find out why there hasn't been any additional updates. Considering I received an out for delivery notification and then I didn't get the package is alarming. Please contact your local post office. Thank you. Yeah, boo, I'm done. I said I've done that already. Thank you for your helpful customer service. I will not be ordering from this company again. So then she responded and said, your package is insured through, the U through UPS. Should it get lost or damaged, you must file a claim. No, boo, we're not going to do it. I'm happy because when it finally started updating again, it showed that for some reason coming from New York, my package ended up in Arizona. I'm in Texas. Okay, makes no sense. So then I was like, it's going to be beat up. It's going to be broken. I will say I'm grateful that they packaged it well so that it didn't happen. There was bubble wrap around the sleeve. The sleeve was in the carton and then the carton had bubble wrap around it. So now that I'm done ranting, I will show you guys what the package looks like. I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. Like I can't even fake. This is gorgeous. I love the colors. Of course, these greens spoke to me, but we're going to do something different today. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the package, the palette itself is gorgeous. It comes with this big old mirror. And yeah, I'm just disappointed with the customer service. And honestly, that makes a big difference in who I choose to do business with. Because if I'm spending my money, you can at least act like you're somewhat appreciative. Besides just a general thank you, even though you didn't help me. This is the carton for the Nude by Yolando, the Church Girl eyeshadow palette. Not really sure what that's about, but okay. And then here is the palette. So it is just a nude eyeshadow palette. Cute colors. Yes, I have stuff like this, but I was like, you know, let me try it just to see. I like the size of the pans. I like that the names are on there. This one also comes with a mirror. I do want to play in the bigger palette today. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. Already did my eyebrows, did my base, but I didn't do my concealer in case there's fallout. And we're going to get into the application, let you see how the palette works. I'll do a few swatches for you guys. But I will say that I do like that this palette has some good transition shades. A lot of times I've noticed whenever you get an eyeshadow palette that has a lot of colors in it, it's just colors and there's no transition shades and you usually have to go in with something else. I'm just using my P. Louise makeup base. I don't know. Y'all comment and let me know if I'm just being dramatic, which I can do sometimes. <laughs> I just, I can't stand when people like don't really try. Like there's a reason I don't work in customer service because I don't want to deal with people having to complain about stuff. So I'm going to start, oh, these colors. Okay. I'm going to start with the shade Cindy, which is C-E-N-D-Y, the shade here. So not a lot of kick up in the pan. It's not skipping on the eyeshadow base. So I think that is a plus. I've had some shadows do that before. I think this shade is really pretty. This definitely will not be a palette that I travel with because it is huge. And because I ain't gonna buy from them again to replace it, I don't want it to get broken. All right, definitely think that these blended well. No fallout, and I mean, there's like no kick up at all in the pan, so definitely a good thing. We're gonna do a warm look. Y'all, there's a shade named Barbara. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, girl. Still ain't getting no bonus points for me. Next, I'm gonna go in with Dasa, Dasa, D-A-S-S-A, -S 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 which is a stark brown down here. 
It almost looks like it kind of has a purple undertone to it. That is definitely pigmented. And as you can see, those are blending very well together. I feel like I've been giving y'all all these colorful looks. So we're going to do something a little more neutral, warm. Going to play in the orange and the gold. So I'm going to take a smaller brush now and I'm going to go in with Sarah, which is this darker brown here. So this is the difference. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and just... Oh, should be a little neater with that, but that's all right because we are going to cut our crease. I ain't gonna lie, these colors are blending really, really well. Sucks. Because <laughs> as much as I like to shop for makeup, your girl would have been in there ordering everything. All right, I went ahead and did my little cut crease. Why I gotta be so dramatic when I say that? Let me swatch and maybe that'll help me decide. I'm going to swatch Becky, which is this really bright gold here in the middle. I'm going to swatch Barbara. I also want to swatch Pamela just because I don't know if you guys can see it kind of looks like one of those marbleized colors. So I want to try just to see what that looks like. We're not going to do another green. I did that. We're probably going to use Becky, but that, whoa. I barely put my finger in there. Wow. Let's see what Barbara feels like. And then let's see what Pamela. I don't think I've ever tried any of these shades that have like the little specks in them. I'm not a huge fan because I just feel like it's not going to show those specks. Why do you put it? I got to do Simone too. Y'all, Simone is my middle name. This is Simone the Green. We're not doing that. I want to check this blue. This is Sandra. Oh, that is so pretty, y'all. Why you customer service have to be bad? Mm. I'm definitely going in with that gold. Oh my God, that shade Barbara is so pretty. <laughs> All right, so this is Sandra. Look at that blue, y'all. This is Becky. This is Barbara, this is Pamela, and this is Simone. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, and they're so soft. Oh, I should have swatched that red. I'm going to swatch that red too, guys. I can't help it. Oh, my God. So I'll swatch these Claudia first. Then this is Dolly. Then we have Renee, which is a little powdery, so it's like coming off in pieces. But that pigmentation, though, oh, that blue. Then this is Missy. They feel kind of soft, but it's so much pigmentation that's coming off, and I did not put my fingers deep in there. And then this is Yvette, the hot, hot pink, purple pink. Fuchsia. <laughs> These shadows are gorgeous. I got to give it to them. And I, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but this is also a woman owned, black owned brand. So that was another reason I wanted to give them a try. And it's just, it's sad because, you know, you're already a minority in the business and you, I'm sure this is like, all your hard work and everything that you've dreamed about forever. And then I don't know if the customer service lady was having a bad day or what, but that's not my problem, ma'am. Like I just want my products. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so we are definitely going in with Becky and we're just going to, oh, my stuff is creasing. Hold on. We're going to pack that on the lid. That color payoff. 
And I have not wet my brush or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger so we can see that. Bam! Look at that. Oh, wee, that is bright. Definitely wanna go in with a brush around the edges just to make sure the application is neater, but that is insane. I'm gonna take the Barbara shade, which isn't really a gold. It's more like a, I don't even know how to describe it. We're gonna go in the inner corner with that. And just blend those together. I will say that I'm happy I got my palettes. I think that these shades are incredible and I'm glad that I got to experience them because I did think that I was going to have to call and maybe cancel my order um, if it didn't come in or if it got lost. I really didn't know what was going on. I'm going to get a little more of Becky and I'm going to wet my brush and try to get in my crease more. Definitely get more payoff with your finger, but I don't want to mess up my cut crease. So we're just trying to stamp it in right on the edge with the brush. Y'all look at how bright that is. And I see a little bit of fallout, but it's not bad. I think I'm gonna go in, I wanna try the red. I'm gonna go in with Claudia, it's the shimmery red, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that here on the edge to help blend. Oh, look at that payoff. Okay, Claudia, you are definitely holding your own. We just got a hodgepodge going on. And then I'm gonna go back I wanna try a different color. I'm gonna take Nancy, which is the matte deep red, and just put that here to help blend into the outer V. So this is what we have so far. I think all of these colors blended so well together. I'm gonna go ahead get rid of the fallout, do my concealer, and then we will finish out this look. But so far, so damn good. <laughs> Can y'all tell I like this look? Oh my God. I feel like these lashes kind of, kind of, just a little bit. They're not too, too big, but it's like borderline. I didn't want them to take away from the eye look, but this is absolutely beautiful i finished my face i used this cover fx perfector face palette i showed this to you guys in a marshall's haul y'all i love this thing i used this to contour i used it to blush i used it to highlight i even put a little bit of this finishing shade here just to kind of help not make it look so flat i use my laura mercier translucent honey setting powder under my eyes and then for my concealer i use this tarte c hydro sealer this is the shade 32 in medium neutral i don't think i like this at all like it's not bad i just feel like i have to use a lot of it and i have fine lines under my eyes so i don't like to use a lot of product because it makes it more susceptible to creasing so I'm just, I, I'm not a fan of it because I have to use so much of it. To finish my lips, I use my Minted Night Lip Pencil. So it's this shade here, kind of like a brown, but it's not too deep. And then I use my Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip in the shade Hot Cocoa. I love this eyeshadow. And I honestly am just kind of bummed because... I really don't know if I'm gonna order from them again. I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. 
I have a lot of products that I love. I have a lot of brands that I love. So I'm not feeling like, oh my God, I have to buy stuff from them. I just wanted to support a smaller brand owned by a woman, owned by a black woman. So I don't know the way I feel right now. I probably won't, but things are subject to change. My mind changes, my mood changes. And honestly, with the way these performed, it kind of makes me curious, but I feel like for what I bought, I bought a nude palette. I bought a colorful palette. I don't know that I need to get another one. This is the final look. This is the eyeshadow. Absolutely love it. You saw how it performed. It was amazing. These colors are very bold, very in your face. And I feel like the payoff is exactly what it looks like in the pan. So if you want to try it, I definitely would say try to wait for a sale. Um, cause like I said, this was 50 bucks, but for everything that you get, I feel like it was worth it. I just hate shitty customer service. So that is it for this eyeshadow look. I'm glad I got my products and I do like them. I like the shadows, like the quality, just didn't like the customer service. If you enjoyed this video, please give it two thumbs up. Two, not one. Click the button twice. Also, if you're new, again, thanks for watching my video and I'd love to have you join the family. So please subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.